1966. Wow. I didn't know that. Margaret Sanger was not a friend to the community, as we say. Planned Parenthood. <laughs> <laughs> and the Negro Project. She called us human weeds. The communists in America were given instructions to turn the black community into a direct opera of the Soviet bloc. And they've done it. One party rule, dictator worship, apostate religion, poverty, drug abuse, government dependency. It's a third world country in a first world country. Look, the black community in the East is something like Haiti or worse. And it started out with Martin Luther King Jr., whose whole life was a ditty party. Had orgies and smoking and fighting and whipping up on women. Martin Luther King Jr. make a ditty party. They look like a, a, a Catholic convent school. You know what the first recipient of the Margaret Sanger Award? No, Margaret Luther King, 1966. Wow, I didn't know that. Margaret Sanger was not a friend to the community, as we say. Planned Parenthood. <laughs> <laughs> and the Negro Project. She called us human weeds. The communists in America were given instructions to turn the black community into a direct opera of the Soviet bloc. And they've done it. One party rule, dictator worship, apostate religion, poverty, drug abuse, government dependency. It's a third world country in a first world country. Look, the black community in the East is something like Haiti or worse. And it started out with Martin Luther King Jr., whose whole life was a ditty party. Had orgies and smoking and fighting and whipping up on women. Martin Luther King Jr. make a ditty party. Oh, they look like a, a, a Catholic convent school. You guys, I just came across this video. I'm not sure how true it is. But before we get caught up in our feelings and emotions and sentiments, we should do ourselves a favor and go on the research or on the search for truth. Because it looks like if we are honest, if we are brutally and sincerely honest, it looks like everything we have been taught in science, in medicine, in history, in culture, in religion, in finance, social, economic, political, it looks like everything we have been taught either has been an absolute lie or a 10% truth and 90% lie or 20% truth and 80% lie that you don't even know which one to believe. But the true age of awakening is when you begin to question everything you have been told and everyone who have told it to you, including questioning yourself. I remember seven, eight years ago, I was in a season of praying and fasting, and a prophetic word came to me. I told a handful of people in private, but I never made a video about it. And the word was like this, that we're in a season where good and evil can no longer be hidden. Truth and lies can no longer be hidden. And when the truth is revealed, it will offend a lot of people. Let's go on a search and look for truth before we get caught up in our feelings because we have put men and women on pedestal for years for centuries and whatever the same media people and the same people who have written the history book and blotted us out are the very same people who have given us some of these histories that's why it's called his story his h-i-s who is this his that is his story not your story not my story that not her story that is his Story. They have given us all these stories, we have ate it up, and we have accepted it, no question asked, hook, line, and single, and we have ran with it for generations. Now the veil has been pulled back, and the things we have held on for years that we thought was truth, is being challenged and is shaking. And because that, that, is, that is the very foundation many of our lives and belief system has been built on, that's why we get offended, and we question it, and we push it back, and we don't even want to touch it. No, my friend. Let's go search for truth. Truth, when it's revealed, it will offend a lot of people. And that truth means politically, socially, economically, in religion, in science, in medicine, in anything you can put your hand on, anything that, that's, that affects human lives. If it's revealed, the truth about it, when it's revealed and brought to light, it will offend a lot of people. There's more I could say but well, because number one, because of the YouTube censor, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But I'll just leave it vague. Um, I think I will continue to use my channel on Telegram and Rumble, where I can speak a little bit more freely without worried about something else, if you know what I'm saying. I have to speak coded language, because I know what's up. If you agree with this video, no problem. If you don't agree with this video, no problem. But we're not going to come here and engage in a debate and insult each other just keep passing if this this particular video you don't like keep passing you can come back tomorrow i might have another video that you definitely love me so for us to be friends we don't have to agree upon everything and we don't have to see eye to eye on everything and it is only in the court that you agree upon everything 
and I'm not running the court. You are free to like this video today or hate this video today, and you are free to come back tomorrow and like the one I, I make and make a comment and continue your subscription and your friendship. Amen. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for the thumbs up, thumbs down, and thank you.